Welcome to a new series from SkyDrones, presenting you the test flight operations. As with any day here at SkyDrones testing facility, today we have three aircraft that we're going to test fly and then prepare for passing it over to our clients. Today you will see the Skylane 320 and two Skylane 250s. Depending on the weather, we'll see what fun stuff we can do at the end. Well, are they different? Yes, so each aircraft has its own set of everything, props, legs, um, wings, everything. And uh, you have to make sure that they're always the same number. So we just nearly uh, took another elevator from a different aircraft. So we just took the correct one and put it in. What's the difference between them? None. <laughs> Max, what is this? This is the air link. This is the integration unit, which includes flight controller, autopilot, mission software planner, everything. I'm so bad at answering this. Ask Kirill. Ask Kirill, ask Kirill, go ask Kirill. So this combines three units in one, the flight control system, the AI mission computer with uh, our Forex A72 processor and LT 5G connectivity unit. The coolest feature about Airlink is that it combines uh, three units in one and uh, also there is very tight software integration. So for instance, you can power up the drone and then we have SkyDrones Cloud, the product which is a web-based management platform for drones. Uh, and the drone will be online uh, at the same time. And if you power up another drone, which we have in the field today, we can fly multiple drones at the same time online and that can be done from anywhere in the world. So the coolest feature about of the integration of all these products in one and uh, very nice software integration as well. So the whole body of the aircraft is made from purely from carbon fiber, all the way from props to the wing to the legs, to the main body, everything is carbon fiber. And this results the aircraft to be just five kilograms with dry weight. With, in dry weight, whatever. So now we have assembled the Skylane 250 and I'm going to carry out pre-flight checks. So ensuring that all of the airframe has been assembled correctly, everything is tight and will be ready to be flown in just a couple of minutes. This drone is the smallest one, and usually customers use it for surveillance purposes. If the aircraft is connected via 4G or 5G, so you can see the real-time uh, video feed from any camera you connected in Sky Drones Cloud. No, Sky Drones Cloud is a web application that allows you to uh, check every drone you own and like, connect to, to this drone, see the video feed from this drone, see the drone mission, where this drone is, and you can alter the mission as well. So if you have a fleet, imagine like 20 drones, for example, you see all the drones in Skydrones Cloud can connect to each drone, can see video feed, can see what's happening. Okay, before um, any um, aircraft goes up in the air, we have to follow a rigorous checklist that we've got, we've put together. And the first part of the checklist is the aircraft assembly. Um, then we make sure all the cables um, are fastened wing VTOWs securely locked in place. So you can see these have to be properly checked. All these bolts have been torqued up to the correct torque. Go through and check all the blades. These are new blades, by the way, but if they weren't, we'd always go and check all the edges and everything. Make sure the motors are spinning good. There's no play in the motor. Make sure the hatch wall down securely. Go around to the rear of the aircraft. Again, checking all this is all correct. Again, checking the motor condition. No play in the motor bearings or anything like this. So once we've done the uh, pre-flight checks on the actual aircraft build, then we will go to um, putting the batteries in. Um, again, batteries have to be made sure that they're 100% and the voltage is at correct um, ampage and stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is open this hatch and then uh, we'll insert some batteries. So for bigger drones, we're using four batteries instead of two. It gives us more flight time, more capacity and more payload to take. We can use bigger gimbals, bigger cameras and that stuff.
I'm printing out and sticking on the operator ID, which is the unique identification code that each drone operator must have and display on their aircraft uh, during any part of their flight. Okay, so we've um, finished uh, all the pre-flight checks on the aircraft. The aircraft are ready to fly. So um, this is the team. I'm just gonna do a quick sort of brief um, as how the um, operation is gonna um, work. We've got three aircraft. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through a briefing now um, of how we're gonna um, conduct this operation, this flight operation. Um, I'm just checked the um, Luton TAF and um, wind's picking up to about 14 knots now. It's um, coming in at a southwesterly direction. Yuri is gonna be our VO. Um, GA today is fairly light. Um, we've got good visibility, 10K. Um, cloud base is uh, about four and a half thousand. Now, let me tell you a bit more about what actually happens behind the scenes at SkyDrones. When we finish assembling the aircraft, including the air link, any sensor that the client might have, because as you all know, we create each of the platforms individually for each customer and each use case. Once the platform has been completed, depending on what is the use case of this aircraft and where, in what, in what environment is the drone going to be operating, we have a number of different testing profiles which we undergo. Today, we have executed testing profile for overland BVLOS flight operations that were going to be taking place in the UK. So the aircraft have been tested for water resistance and for the sensors that they will be having. As this specific client is coming from a defense sector, I will not be telling much about what systems and the uses. However, we had to have specific focus on the aircraft's safety system. For the safety systems on this aircraft, we, we can have multiple fixtures. We can even install a parachute if the client needs to. However, those aircraft, they have redundant autopilot systems, redundant battery supply, especially for the Skydane 320. It has two battery packs and they can be switched around. To start off the flight testing, we go into the hover mode. So we just simply take off and let the aircraft sit there for approximately three minutes. And this is enough of time to understand whether all of the wiring from the microchips to wiring to engines to motors has been done properly. If something would happen, aircraft would not would not fall out of the sky. Instead, it's just a one meter altitude, meaning that nothing serious will happen to this. After this has been done, aircraft is landing and we're checking all of the connectors and all of the sensors once again. After this has been done, we're replacing the batteries for a new set that has been flown previously and we're going in for a fixed wing flight. Once the aircraft is in fixed wing mode, it's starting to do a loop around all of our testing flight facility. There, we're testing the aircraft's speed performance, uh, aircraft's uh, handling, whether all of the ailerons are set correctly to the exact reference of the client. Some of our clients' focus is for having a very stable and secure flight as they might have very expensive sensors at the bottom of the aircraft, ranging from a Next Vision Raptor camera to a five-band camera or any other LiDAR sensors with gimbals, etc. Some of them they do wildlife tracking, some of them are helping to keep our country secured. So for those clients, we're testing the stability and smoothness of the flight, making sure that when the aircraft is flying, it's just almost like lying down in the field and enjoying yourself. Now, once we have completed the fixed wing testing profile and we ensure that the aircraft is either capable of responding really rapidly to any actions that the pilot might, might give to the aircraft, we're starting to test the aircraft's emergency systems. 
and how is the aircraft going to react in a case of an emergency. We can have a large variety of what can possibly happen in the environment where those drones are operating. We can start from going into possible air incursions, ground incursions at the landing site, loss of the GNSS, loss of the pusher motor or any of the hover motors. For each of them, we provide a very detailed checklist which tells the operator of how to deal with such a scenario and how to ensure that the aircraft, aircraft will be landing back on the ground very safely. Once we have tested all of the emergencies, aircraft is coming into land. Now, our aircraft, they have a different variety of returning to home options. We have the most standard option when the aircraft is performing a very long, let's say, comfortable transition. Now, if the environment in which the drone is operating has some difficulties and has some limited space um, open to the operators, we can also tell the aircraft to do a expedite or a rapid transition into the hover. Um, it's very loud and you should see it for yourselves. We'll absolutely film this on another day. Now, when the aircraft is doing an emergency transition, it's stopping almost instantly. The transition distance can be less than 10 meters. Now, once this has been tested out, all of the features, all of the transition modes, we're bringing the aircraft back. Once the aircraft has landed, we are ensuring that all of the systems of the aircraft are fully safe and they are still functional. And then we are conducting a debrief with the team and we're starting to analyze the logs because analyzing the logs is the most important part of any testing, testing profile. We check whether all of the electrical components have been functioning correctly. We check whether the software, the hardware of the aircraft has done its job essentially. Once this has been done, we take the aircraft back to the office where it undergoes final cleaning, polishing processes, and it's ready to be shipped to one of our customers. Cut. <laughs> now, those drones, like Skyrian 320 and 250, are ready for handover to our customers. And you will see it on LinkedIn, on YouTube, and stay tuned.